Hey Lobos, Ben Johnson here to teach you how to do your virtual office hours in Google Classroom. So first of all, if you haven't built your Google Classroom yet, that's the first step. You can watch the video that I made yesterday. Once you've got your class built, you'll go to the Classwork tab in the upper middle of the class. And one thing that teachers don't usually know is that every class has a Google Calendar associated with it, and that's where you're going to schedule your office hours and set up your Google Meet. So I'm going to go to that Classwork tab, Google Calendar, and that's going to open up all my Google Calendars. And you may have many of them. So uh, take a look over here on the left, and you can see I have lots of Google Calendars, mostly just from experimenting with different things. But what you'll see when you sc scroll down is you'll see the class. In this case, my class is Test Class Period 1. I'll make sure that that's checked. And at the same time, I'll make sure all the other classes are unchecked so that I'm not accidentally posting to the wrong class. And then I can just pick the day that I want to start. So let's say that I want to start tomorrow. It's period one. I want to run from 9 a.m. to 9.30. I'll just double click around that time. And I'll just put office hours, um, P1, astronomy. Okay, I could put Q4, whatever. And then under the time, here I'll change that from 9 to 9.30. You can decide what time you want it to run. And then on does not repeat, I'm going to go ahead and change that to every weekday. And then what's really important here is under the add conferencing, you need to change that to hangouts meet. Now, assuming you want to send this out to the students or post it in the Google Classroom, you need to go ahead and grab that URL. So you need to right click on the join hangouts meet. Just right click on that and copy the link address. Okay, so again you just right click on that join Hangouts Meet, copy link address, and now you just hit save. And you'll see that places that on my calendar. If at any time I want to edit any of those things, I can just double click on an entry, change the name, the time. Okay. Now that's there. Students would be able to access it from their calendar, but many of the students aren't aware of the calendar either. So um, I would broadcast that out to students, and there's two ways to do it. You can go to the PSD gradebook and email that out to the students, or you can just put it in your Google Classroom. And so that's the technique that I'm going to show you right now. So I'm going to go ahead and go to, back to my, um, my Google Classroom. I could put it in the stream, I could put it in the classwork tab, wherever you want, and I'm just going to create new material. And I'm just going to call it office hours. And then down here you might describe when you're meeting, all that good stuff. And then I'm just going to hit add, and I'm going to do link. I'm just going to paste that link that I just copied a second ago. And then I'll just add the link. And now students are going to be able to use this link to um, access that um, office hours every day. And I want to post it maybe in my getting started topic that I made yesterday. Or you could put it in a um, new topic that you make just for office hours. However you want to organize your class, whatever makes sense for students. In this case, I just tell them it's under the getting started topic. And I'm just going to simply post that. All right, and so now how it works for students is each day they can come in at 9. They'll be able to click on the office hours. And they'll be able to join that um, Google Meet. So they'll click on that. <coughs> they'll click join now. You'll click join now. And then they'll, they'll be part of the meeting. As students join, you'll see them come in on the right-hand side over here. The first thing I'd recommend doing is recording these for the students that aren't there, maybe, if you're working problems or that sort of thing. So I'll just go ahead and hit these three dots. If you're not seeing the three dots, you can just mouse down at the bottom of your screen, and this white ribbon will show up. And you just hit these three dots, and you just hit record. Um, you'll want to tell the students that you're recording these um, for the benefit of the students that aren't there live. And at this point, um, everything in the um, Google Hangout is being recorded, and it will be saved in your Google Drive in a folder that Google makes called Meet Recordings. 
M-E-E-T recordings. Um, all of these videos will show there with a date stamp. Okay, and um, at this point, uh, students could interact with you. You could interact with students. Uh, they'll show up on the screen here. You could click whatever student you want to bring up on the big screen in the middle. Um, you and students can use the little chat feature to, to ask questions. And they'll be able to send those questions, and you can talk about those questions. Um, maybe something that you're lecturing about, or maybe you're just trying to connect with students. Okay. And again, as other students join that, you'll see this number increase, and you'll see um, their image down below. Um, one word of caution that you can share with the students is that they need to enable the camera and microphone on their computer in order for this to work, at least if they want to um, interact with the um, meet. All right, um, I'm going to go back to the screen. Assuming that you want to work problems or um, elaborate on a presentation or talk about a map or a diagram or something like that, you can bring that up on your screen too. So you can just go ahead and hit this present now. And instead of your entire screen, which would be okay, you can pick just a window if you want. And I've actually got this whiteboard open on another um, instance of Chrome and another tab. So I'll just go ahead and share that screen, pretend like I'm a math teacher or something. So right now the students are actually seeing that that screen and um, I just want to go ahead and pull it up. And so this is the screen that I've shared with them and I'll just go full screen here. And uh, as a math teacher maybe I just want to work, do some simple um, math problems. I'm just writing with my finger right now. If you have a stylus you can be more precise. Um, and then whatever you're narrating will be recorded. The screen will be recorded. And now at this point uh, I could work all the problems that I want. I could be talking about my um, Google slideshow, my PowerPoint, whatever I have on the screen, the map, the website. And the students right now are seeing this on their screen. I'm just going to go back to my Hangout, assuming that I've worked the problems that I want to work and that I'm finished with that section, I can stop presenting. Maybe I can ask students to wrap things up if they have any other questions, uh, that sort of thing. And so once you're finished, say it's 930, um, no one else has any more questions, you can go ahead and uh, hang up this call and you can just go ahead and click that red phone and at this point um, that's done. I'll return to the, the home screen and so now what's going to happen is Google's going to save a recording of that video and um, in about five minutes it's actually going to get emailed to you. So it will email you um, a copy with a date stamp. You can actually open that up in your Google Drive if you want. Um, like I said, it takes about five minutes depending on how long you record it. It just has to render that video. Now, um, for the benefit of the students who weren't there, you can post that in your Google Classroom. And so I can just go back to um, my Classwork tab create another item. I'll just do uh, material and I'll just say office hours from 3-25. Um, now I can just add that, add that file from the Google Drive and it should show up here on my recent. I might need to scroll down and so um, you may have to give it a minute to, to appear. Um, you can go back to the email and search for the um, the name on that today, uh, the name to find that. Here's the meet recordings. 
So the one that I just made is, is here. And so you could search for it. Um, if you just go to my drive, it should show up. So I can just click on that one and uh, add that to the class. And then I can go ahead and post, post that. And I think I forgot to put it in a folder, so I'll just go ahead and hit Edit and uh, change that to, if it's, par say, part of Unit 1, I can just move that um, recording to Unit 1. And so now any of the students who are absent that day or weren't able to join us can go back and, and watch that um, recording of the, um, the session that, that uh, you did your office hours with that day. All right, so I think that's that's all for now. I'm going to go ahead and and uh, pause the recording.